What's going on, everybody? In this video, we're going to look at circles again, except this time we're going to convert from standard form to the general form of a circle. And if you remember, the general form of a circle is going to be a x squared plus b y squared plus c x plus d uh, y plus e equals zero, where a and b are going to equal each other. Now, um, there's another video that discusses the difference uh, within conic functions when they're in their general uh, forms. But for circles, A and B are always going to be positive. Always going to be positive for circles. And A and B will always be the same. So if those are ever different, if they're ever negative, or one of them is um, a different number than the other, you're no longer dealing with a circle. So that's another video for another time. In this video, we're gonna convert from standard to general. So let's go ahead and jump straight into our first example. So when I see this problem and they're saying, hey, convert from standard to general form of the circle, what I wanna do is I want to simply foil these two out. And if you recall what that means, when I have a polynomial squared, one of the most missed things I see is people distributing this two, that squared term, into the parentheses. Well, that's not what this means. For us, I have x plus 10 times x plus 10 plus y plus 3, y plus 3, and as reversing our procedure, I'm going to move that 49, that constant term, back onto the side of my variables because I want my right-hand side to equal 0. So now we're going to FOIL. Oops, if I could spell FOIL. Now remember, with FOILing, we're going to tackle our first terms first. So x times x gives me x squared, then we have our outside, so our outside x times our outside 10 gives me 10x, then we have our inside, so inside 10 times inside x gives me 10x, and then we have our L, which means our lasts, so we have 10 times 10 gives me 100. So we're going to follow the exact same procedure with our y terms here. So I'm going to get y squared. y times 3 gives me plus 3y. Three, 3 times y gives me plus 3y. And 3 times 3 gives me 9. Minus 49 equals 0. Go ahead and combine our like terms here. Obviously, x and y's are not like terms, but... We are cleaning up, so we have x squared plus 20x plus 100 plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 minus 49 equals 0. Now I can combine my constants so that I have 100 plus 9 gives me 149 or sorry, 109, I'm sorry, minus 49 gives me 60. So I can rewrite this as x squared plus 20x plus y squared plus 6y plus 60. And then, again, I want it in the ax squared plus by. So my final form that I'm going to uh, right, and I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here, is going to be x squared plus y squared plus 20x plus 6y plus 60 equals 0. And now I'm in my general form of a circle. So, very easy, not too difficult, reverse um, factor those two. We're just going to multiply them out. We're going to FOIL them, and then we combine our like terms. Very, very simple. 
Let's do it again here. This time we'll kind of speed it up a little bit. I have x plus 9 times x plus 9 plus y minus 10 times y minus 10 minus 64 equals 0. I'm going to FOIL these. So uh, my first times my first gives me x squared plus 9x plus 9x plus 81 plus y squared minus 10y minus 10y minus plus, sorry, 100. Negative 10 times negative 10 gives me a positive 100. Minus 64 equals 0. Combine, simplify. I have x squared plus 18x plus 81 plus y squared minus 20y plus 100 minus 64 equals 0. Now, go ahead and combine our constants here so that when we combine 81, 100, and negative 64, we are going to wind up getting 117. And I can say x squared plus y squared plus 18x minus 20y plus 117 equals 0. And that is standard form to general form. Very easy, very simple. Follow those steps. You'll never miss it. Go ahead and master how to FOIL, and you will become a master of converting between these forms. If you haven't checked out my video of going from general to standard form, be sure to look at that because many problems are going to have you do that as well. Thanks for checking out this video. We will see you next time.